Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, we're gonna do an apartment tour. So we moved in on Friday, today's Monday, and oh my God, moving is the shittest thing, isn't it? It's just so, it's just a lot. Like I forgot how much of an effort it actually is. But we're in now. Um, I'm literally obsessed with this new place. I think it is my favorite place that Joe and I have ever lived. It just feels like it's got everything we need and I'm very excited about it. So um, it's not actually an empty apartment tour because <laughs> When we were moving on Friday, the removalists managed to pack up our other house so quickly that they almost beat me here. So I didn't have time to do that. But I did do a very, very quick one, which is posted on my TikTok if you want to see this empty. But hey, we can all use our imagination because it is an absolute shit show right now. But it would be weird if it wasn't because I don't know how you can move and it not look like a complete disaster once you've moved in. But it's got so much potential and I'm so excited to take you guys along with what we're going to do with it. Um, yes, we're renting again in case anyone's wondering. We haven't bought this. I wish I bloody did. It's unbelievable. So let's do a tour. And as I said, you're all going to have to use your imagination because there is stuff everywhere. Let's start with downstairs because it's one of my favourite things about this place and why I fell in love with it. It's got the highest ceilings. It's also got a skylight here. It's a clean that definitely needs a clean. Um, but I just love how high the ceilings are. It's actually insane. This is why I was like, we need to move in here because it reminds me of LA houses. I don't know why. I think it's the high ceilings and like the sheer curtains and the open planness that, I don't know, I just love it. This apartment came furnished, which I was not a fan of. We removed most of the furniture except for this sofa because we are waiting for ours to arrive. So ignore that, that's definitely not staying. Um, but yeah, it's actually so nice. So if I just come back this way, also, as you can see, literally like cardboard city. I mean, I wasn't lying when I said it was an absolute shit show. It, <laughs> it really is. Anyway, so this is what, this is where I was standing before. So this is kind of where the TV will go on the wall. Um, and then I've got this massive rug coming with these really nice like, accent chairs, a beautiful Soho home sofa, which I'm so excited about. Um, yeah, I can't wait for this room to be done because I feel like it's gonna be a vibe. One thing though that did come with the apartment is this dining room table, which I love. And the chairs are so nice, so we're definitely keeping this. It's, um, that mirror is not staying there, but it's just there for the time being. The kitchen, I love, mainly because of this island, the marble island, I just love. This is so nice. We've got the sink. And then underneath here is storage cupboards, you know, for cleaning products and all that sort of stuff. This one is a bin thing and this is a dishwasher. All very exciting. More storage here. I also love, which I feel like sometimes is underrated, that um, they've got plugs underneath the island, which is just great. You need that. And then on this side, you've got your microwave, oven, wine fridge. Great news. Um, more storage. Just lots of storage, which is really good for us. Um, this actually excited me a lot. So above here is a cupboard that's got a spice rack in it, which I really like. It's actually quite big. The storage in this place is great, to be fair. So I feel like London apartments aren't good for storage, but this one's good. I also really enjoy the mirror splashback. It's very nice. Probably is gonna get filthy, but we'll make sure we clean that one. Obviously got our air fryer in the corner, big air fryer fans. Um, and then in here, this is the utensil drawer, which is kind of weird, because it's got this like rigid thing on it, which I don't know why. It... I just want a cutlery tray. So I don't know if I can put one on top. I need to work that one out. We've got some really random, <laughs> random things going on in here. Um, and then what else have we got? Let's see. Joe unpacked some of the kitchen. Oh, here we go. Plates and things like that. Um, and then I think the bottom one, is pots and pans, pretty sure. There we go. But big drawers, like huge, it's good. Over here, we've got our fridge and the freezer. I also just love that you can just look out from the kitchen all the way down there, which is great. And when it's tidy and it looks lovely, it's gonna be even better. I mean, it's just a bit crazy right now, but it's fine. So the good thing about this apartment is it's almost like a circle downstairs. So we've got two entrances because it's a duplex. We've got a ground floor door, no, lower ground floor door, which is here. So this is like the entrance area where we've actually just put some Ikea units for the time being for storage. Not sure if they're gonna live there, but we shall see. And then in here, this was another thing that I was really excited about because we have a really big, like airing cupboard, which in London you don't get. Like it's an actual room. I can fully stand in here. So we put another storage unit there. So for, we can put our suitcases in here, which is great because suitcase storage in London can sometimes be a nightmare. Washing machine, dryer. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's actually really big. So I was like, that's a dream. Because as you get older, you understand the importance of a airing cupboard. <laughs> 
And then, so this is little hallway. Um, this obviously isn't staying here. Just random stuff everywhere, honestly. <laughs> um, in here, you've got a downstairs loo, which is great, with a shower. I mean, all the loos have showers, which is amazing. Um, so yes, very lovely. So into this room, which just so you get your bearings, basically goes back around into the kitchen living area. So it's kind of like round here, if that makes sense. So that's how it all connects. But this is good actually because it's got these doors that you can pull across, so you could create this to be like a separate room if you wanted it to be. We have got outside here, not that we're probably gonna use it that much, um, some outdoor space on this side, it's just like a, so basically we're a basement flat, but because of the skylight and the fact that it's a duplex, it just feels so light in here, which is so nice. So this skylight is an absolute touch. It just works so well. Um, so yeah, so we've got that. I mean, whether we put anything out there, God knows. Maybe in the summer we might use it, but for now, I think that one we probably won't be using. Um, but yeah, so this is the sort of office room, which I do want to turn into a full-on sort of functional office. Um, as you can see, it's full of stuff at the moment. But hopefully this means it will be really nice transformations because it does look a bit crazy right now. But it's really good sized room. And again, the ceilings are just as high as the other room. Um, which I love, honestly, such good ceiling height. So um, anyway, so through here, this is the outdoor area. Obviously we have to think about outdoor areas for doggies. Yes, yeah, so we've got this nice little outdoor garden area, which is perfect size really for two little sausage dogs to come out and bark and do everything else they need to do. So next where I'm gonna take you, so we're gonna go up these stairs, which go up to the first floor, which technically is the ground floor if you were to come into the apartment. So we're currently in the basement, but up these stairs, I just love these lights. This was another feature that I just, I don't know, it just reminds me of an LA house. I think it's finished a similar sort of vibe as those houses in LA. There are some bonuses to getting a furnished apartment because this was already here. So this is just as you come through the door um, at the top, it's got a full shoe rack storage room, which is great. Very happy about that. Um, so we'll definitely be keeping the shoe racks. And so obviously this is where I came up, the landing. So that's the door from the ground floor. And then we've got these, these like smart hub things here, um, which are taking a while to get used to, but I'm sure Joe and I will learn. It's all very, very high tech, should we say. So then this is the smaller of the two rooms, which I'm basically just gonna turn into my wardrobe. So I've got a slightly different IKEA storage system coming, which I'm gonna hopefully get put up on Friday. So there'll be vlogs of me doing all that when I'm organizing it once it's up. And then I've got my new makeup table to sit on here. And I think I'm gonna do just like shoe rack here. Cause believe it or not, apparently what we've got already is not gonna be enough shoe storage. Um, so I'll just face this way. So then you've got this door here, which is another loo which is ideal. I won't turn the lights on because you can basically see it. So this is shower, loo, loads of storage in these as well, which is great. So it's got like storage behind the mirrors and also storage under the sink, which is ideal. And then there is in this room a cupboard because obviously it's meant to be a bedroom, but I'm one of those weirdos that turns an entire room into a wardrobe. Um, but it's good because I can hang my coats and things in here. And then this room, so this is the master uh, bedroom. This mirror was already here, but we're gonna have to get rid of it because this um, IKEA storage unit is too high for it. Plus I think I just want like a big sort of rectangle one that just sits on top of it. Um, we've got our bed up, which is good. That's all fit. And we also are able to have back our um, bedside tables and we're gonna get from the lock up. We know when we lived in, not the last one, but the one before that we had mirrors next to the bed and like lamps. We're gonna put that all back, which will be really nice. So we've actually got a much bigger bedroom here, which is great. And then um, I've also, I'm gonna share this with you guys in another video, but I have managed to make our bed feel like a hotel bed. There's lots of levels to this bed now, but I will share how I've done that because it's unbelievable. Um, then we've got this, chest of drawers thing here which was also already here but it's quite handy because we're going to put a tv on top of it and it just sort of works to be fair so that's good and then in here is the master bathroom um which is great because it's got um a shower 
But it's also got a bath, which it's like a wet room. And that bath is the most handy thing when it comes to shaving your legs <laughs> in the shower. I realized that this morning. It just works. Um, again, big mirrors and loads of storage behind both of them. I've started to unpack a little bit, but not really. I'm mean, trying to fit it in amongst everything else I'm doing. Um, but I think this weekend I'm at home. I'm not doing anything, thank God. So I'm going to do big unboxing sorting my life out so i'll make sure i film it and i'll share that with you guys um yeah and also just mirrors everywhere i love this about this apartment that there are just mirrors everywhere this is actually joe's wardrobe but his boxes are in front of this right now so as you can see there's a lot that needs to be done but although it feels like an absolute like just nightmare right now i know that when it's done, it's gonna be amazing. And somehow, I don't know why, but somehow when, you know when something is almost so crazy, it makes you feel even more, like you've achieved something when it looks better. I think it's just typical, like we've literally just moved in and haven't had a moment to put anything away. Um, so yeah, I think um, for me, it's a nightmare because I can't put anything away until my storage solutions arrive from Ikea. So I'm it's so funny, I've literally got an SLA shoot this afternoon with Becky. And I have planned this so badly because I literally was in the house yesterday and I was like, how am I supposed to put an outfit together when I don't know where anything is? Like, I've literally got an SLA shoot and I, I don't know where my shoes are. I don't know where my jewellery is. I think I know where all my hair stuff is. I don't know. So, um, yeah, that could be an interesting one. But I will take you guys. I'm going to just do this as the apartment tour, which you guys have obviously seen. And then uh, I'm actually staying at the one hotel tonight to do the photo shoot. And we're doing like, basically, I'm going to shoot everything kind of not all together. Sometimes I try and do everything all at once and it's too much to get it done. So um, I'll start showing you some of the SLA new season previews because the Sparkle Season collection this year, guys, is insane i'm actually obsessed also oh my god i can't believe it's taken me i don't know how many minutes into this vlog to remember this sla is doing a pop-up i mean it's only taken me almost five years to do one i think i've just been so nervous to do one that i just haven't done it but i finally just been like i really want to meet everyone i want to share sla properly with you guys because the one thing with SLA that I think is so amazing about it is the quality and the quality doesn't always come across online and I can't wait for you guys to come and actually experience SLA in real life. See the sparkle, realise there is no filters on this stuff, it is just as sparkly in real life um, and you can try it on, I'm, honestly the pop-up is going to be amazing, I, I've, oh, honestly I've got the renders back for what the shop's going to look like and it is Instagram heaven. So um what I'll do, I'll put the, actually I'll put the dates in the description box because it's quite specific timings on each of the days, but it's the last weekend of October, payday weekend, make sure you can come because I'd love to meet you all, um, I'm so excited honestly, you can have a styling session with me if you don't know how to wear the stuff, I'll be telling you what you can wear with it and all that sort of stuff and I'm just so excited to meet you all. So you've seen, you've seen the new place now. Um, and also, hopefully, you'll be able to see the transformation because you would have seen it looking like this. And then when it looks amazing, um, you'll all be so proud of me <laughs> for not making it look like this. Um, yeah, I'm hoping by Monday, a week today, I'll be feeling better because my I'll be able to put stuff away and I'll just feel a bit more like zen about the whole thing because right now, my brain feels like the way the apartment looks. So... <laughs> It's fine. I'm trying to organise a pop-up shop. I've got the biggest launch of SLA's year and a moving. I don't know why I decided to do this all in one month. I must have just thought it'd be funny. Uh, it's fine. I'm fine. Um, anyways, so I am going to continue sorting... Well, basically, I have to try and find some outfits to wear for the shoot. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I will probably see you guys now at the hotel with Becky. So I'll see you guys there. I feel like this is just a vlog of housing interiors because i'm now about to give you a room tour of this room that i'm staying in at the one hotel it's brand new it's just opened um so i booked this for the shoot because i was like number one i wanted to see what it looked like and number two i feel like it was gonna be a vibe and i was right this room is insane so you've got a seating area as you come through the door which looks insane it's also very comfortable i'm obsessed with this giant cream rug it's giving me all the interior vibes in here how great is that area this looks so pretty. Um, massive floor to ceiling windows here, like so big. Um, it looks out onto, I don't really know where, somewhere in London. It's 
very sunny, I actually can't even look out there right now. Um, then you've got a table with some yummy things on it, which looks lovely. And then this way is the bedroom. So fun fact, the one hotel bed, so we've, Joe and I have stayed in one in uh, West Hollywood, and these beds actually inspired what I've done to the bed at home, um, which as I said, I will get around to explaining that, but they are so comfortable. This one looks incredible. And then this is the bathroom through here. So it's got shower in there, which looks great. It's like such a good shower. Big sink area, mirror. And then it's also got like the door that you can pull across and some curtains. It's so bright in here, honestly. And then it's got a separate closet area, which is just amazing. So I'm currently unpacking, as you can see, um, SLA hanging up, ready to go. Uh, give you a little sneak preview. Obviously, I will put everything on and show you guys. New, 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 new. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this one. Wait till you see it on. It is insane. Um, oh, stunning. I'm obsessed. I mean, I'm so proud of everything. So as I said, I am splitting the shoots up a little bit. So um, I'm doing sort of my faves first, I would say. That's actually a midi length sheer number, which is very cute. Then we've got um, a little, little fun thing. This is a blazer with a bra over the top, which is very cute. We've got real like hourglass. It's all very tailored this year, which is exciting. And then um, you'll all be pleased to know the Thea blazer is coming back, but in black on black. How nice is that? I'm obsessed with a matching J dress underneath. I mean, together, it honestly is just the perfect Christmas party outfit. Um, we've also got a matching black GG midi, which you could wear underneath, and a matching Romy skirt. I'm very excited about this because I just love the black on black vibe. It's such a good staple party season blazer, this. But as I say, when I've got everything on, I'll show you guys them actually on. Because although they do have hanger appeal, not going to slate them. They obviously look at that. I mean, she's stunning. This is actually so fun. On, it's really cute. Honestly, I love this. Um, this is called the London. I felt like it needed a proper London name. This one's actually called... Oh, God, hang on. Mayfair or Soho, I can't remember, but it's one of them. There's a top as well that's kind of like this, which I haven't got because I'm shooting it all separately, I should say. Um, but yeah, London vibes. And I'm very excited for you guys to see it all on. So this is the Black J. I mean, honestly, look at that sparkle. It is insane. Perfect for party season. So this is um, semi-sheer like our other dresses, but I have actually got on a black bando and some high-waisted underwear, which is what I like to wear underneath these because then you kind of lose the sheerness. So if you're wondering what to wear underneath it, if you don't want the full sheer vibe, highly recommend a pair of high-waisted underwear, like I've got on here, wearing some proper spanks and a bando, and you'll be good to go. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed. It's like the perfect little black, party season dress you know so this is the london blazer dress look how cute the little bra detail is when you wear it at night time it just like twinkles and i'm honestly in love it we've really kind of like given this a proper waist as well it's got like an a-line sort of shape so it goes in at the waist and then kind of like out to give you like a really nice hourglass um i just love the bra detail i think it's such a cute addition to a black blazer dress okay guys so Oh, Joe's in the background, hello. Um, this dress, I'm kind of obsessed with. I am holding this light here because I feel like you need to see the boob panel because it really excites me. So it's sheer, but I've got black underwear on again and also I've got that black bando on underneath because I do like the sheer vibe, but as I said in the last one, um, I want to show you guys how to wear it so it's not so sheer. So basically, um, I'm trying to get this light so you can kind of see it. So um, when you put a black bando underneath, you can, you know, you don't see anything. And that's kind of why we designed it to be the shape so that you can go sheer with just nipple covers. But if you just put a black bando on underneath like I've got here, then no one will know. So this is the Drew set. I mean, I'm honestly in love with this. I love the shape of the top. It's so nice. The diamante on this is honestly incredible. It just looks so shiny. You feel like a human glitter ball. Like, it's so pretty. Look at that. Um, I'm honestly in love. Which, I don't know, I just feel like the top also looks so nice with jeans. It finishes at like a really nice point so you can wear it with low rise. Or with um, high waisted you can just pull up a little bit. And then the skirt is just such a nice fit. I'm honestly, I'm just obsessed. 
It's another glorious day in London. I can't go over this weather that we're having in October. Although, not to be negative about it, but it's so nice that now I'm like, oh, when it goes cold again, I'm gonna feel really sad. But we won't think about that yet. Just ordered myself some room service. I thought, why not? While I'm here, I'm up very early. Went to the gym today though. I'm trying to get back into it. Um, I basically haven't worked out for like, whoa, I don't even know, maybe like, over a month, maybe more than that. And I'm so sore. I did my first workout yesterday because we've got a gym in our apartment, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to move because Joe and I kind of miss the whole concierge gym vibe. Um, so I'm trying to get back into the gym and I can't move. I literally can't move. I went to the gym here this morning to do upper body because I completely fucked my lower body. <laughs> like, you know when you just can't walk upstairs or like even sitting down, like even now I'm like, oh my God, my bum hurts. Um, I can't even remember why I'm telling this story. What was the point in that? Oh my god, I don't know. I think it was that I was up early. I don't. Oh my god, my brain. My brain is so frazzled. I feel like I need just, I don't know. I just need a moment to just decompress everything now that that bit, that shoot's done and we moved in and now I need to go and unpack everything and just like get my life back on track. Anyway, um, I'm gonna finish this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new apartment and of course seeing little sneak previews of the SLA collection um, which is launching on the, I think it's the 27th, yes, Friday the 27th of October. Um, also, don't forget I'll put all the information about the SLA pop-up shop in the description if you're interested in coming. I'm so excited, I can't believe it's actually getting really close now. Um, and then I'll see you guys in my next video which will be more organising and hopefully I'll have my wardrobe and all that by then which will be very nice. Anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.